friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video I am going to try Babel down FECO that is nucleus management when the Babel of the tip of the FECO needle faces the posterior capsule this looks dangerous but if the anterior chamber stability is good this is not so by this time the main incision and a side port has been made this is 2% ASPMC filling up the anterior chamber ASPMC is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now I am going to do capsulorexis using this uterata forceps the anterior capsule is torn a capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise to do a continuous curvilinear capsular axis of about 5.25 millimeter and now hydro dissection hydro dissection is being done with BSCs and 27 gauge cannula fitted to a 2cc disposable syringe hydro and delineation also happened in this case and it has produced a beautiful golden ring visco again fills off the anterior chamber and now the tip of the FECO needle is introduced the machine being used is Faro's from Oatley here it goes the tip of the FECO needle enters into the anterior chamber bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now in the bevel down position itself the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped into two heminuclei now each heminucleus is again held bevel down and the free nuclear fragments are emulsified when the tip of the FECO needle is bevel down this is the other heminucleus and it is little faster when the tip of the FECO needle faces towards the posterior capsule the followability is more and the pieces come to the teeth very easily and now I am in FECO 3 mode when the vacuum is less about 200 at this time uh, during nucleus chopping and emulsification the vacuum was 450 and now it is 220 and that's why okay the epinucleus is managed and now I come out cortical cleanup in this case is being done with the help of a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula now see the rexis it is round and about 5.25 millimeter in diameter and this is a 23G Simcoe it is being used to remove the cortex and a lot of air bubble somehow collected in the anterior chamber cortical cleanup has been done and now I'm going to use visco to help me implant the intraocular lens yes the visco has filled off the anterior chamber and then a uh, hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag the lens the intraocular lens has gone into the capsular bag the haptics are in the equator of the capsular bag and now there is a cotton fiber and it was removed 
And now, since we have used Visco before implanting the intraocular lens, we have to clean the Visco very nicely. We can do a hydro implantation, then it is a different thing. But once we use Visco to implant the intraocular lens, we must remove the Visco very nicely. There should not be any rise of intraocular pressure because of retained Visco. We must give that much quality time to the patient. And now this is irrigating probe of bimanual irrigation aspiration. It is being used to irrigate the anterior chamber. Going behind the eye well to irrigate the capsular bag and lot of visco molecules come out just by this irrigation. And now irrigation and aspiration is being used together to remove some more visco molecules. That's it. It is nicely done. The rex is the anterior rim of the rex. That is the anterior capsular rim is overlapping the optic of the intraocular lens all around nicely. And this helps in centration of the intraocular lens. And this is closure of the side port by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound. The main incision doesn't require any hydration. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. This final lavage helps in avoiding TAS, Toxic Anterior Segment Syndrome. And this is done by BSS. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. The integrity of the wounds are checked. See, there is no leakage from the wounds. And the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to do Babel Down FACO. But please see the stability of the anterior chamber. And there should be a sheet of epinucleus covering the posterior capsule. There should not be bare posterior capsule like what we see in hypermature cataracts. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.